We should interview her as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> right. Start again. Okay. Oh. We can do this well this time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. This is, we're starting again. Yeah. Again, again. Yes. Right. Okay. We laid this for that. Okay. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm the singer of Colors of One. Hi, I'm Mick. I'm the guitarist of Colors of One. And yeah, we're in Colors of One. Yeah, we're in Colors of One. Yeah. Okay. We still didn't do that well. Yeah. yeah. Second time. <laughs> yeah, you kind of failed, yeah. Um, okay. Why did you name your band Colors of One? Um, Colors of One was taken from an Incubus lyric. Um, the song Redefine. Um, Incubus is one of the two bands that five of us all share and enjoyment. Uh, yeah, a cup of Darjeeling. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Come on, come on. <laughs> Shall you come round to mine? <laughs> with all of us. We go in the ink of us. Yes. Happens all the time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we were actually in the studio and making bands with big, big noise, and, um, arguing over names, what we were going to call the band, um, you know, various name suggestions. Left Etna, good band name. Yeah, to get in another move. That death now. Actually, Chasing Candle. You know, thrown out. Everyone hated these names. Colours of one. I think you've just cleaned the table. <laughs> yeah. First time. <laughs> He's got OCD. So. <laughs> it's the first time this kitchen, it's the kitchen's table has been cleaned. Okay. Yeah. Um, who would you say cared about their most about their physical appearance? Reese. Reese, a second to that, Reese. Um, what would be your favourite song to perform? Ooh, um, that's going to be different for both of us, probably, isn't it? What, what's yours? Um, I really, really enjoy uh, performing Leech. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those songs that, quite sure, um, you know, packs a punch, uh, gets the blood ro- um, pumping, you know. the blood rolling, <laughs> your um, weedy blood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think we've got. A new songs now, and I, 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 I actually my, my final answer is going to be Echoes, okay. Echoes, which will be uh, out um, as a single in so the next couple of months. Yes, yeah. just finished with a music video. Really. Mm. I think it used to be Burning Ants, but we haven't played that for a while. Um, now probably see that we fear because it scares me a little. <laughs> Because it's, it's, it's like you've got to. I think the most enjoyable things is where you're right on the edge and you yeah. think, okay, is this going to go well? Because it's not so much a difficult song to play. It's just getting all the sort of tones and everything right. And because like the, the, the shape of a room can go to can make it sound great or terrible. So you've got to kind of try and judge how you're going to approach it. I, I kind of like the danger. In that, so <laughs> I just sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Um... Who would, if you could compare your band sound to any other band, what would it be and why? Uh, One Direction. <laughs> <Dink>. um, <laughs> because because they're doing well in America. Because we're <laughs> massive in America. Um, actually, we'd be tiny in America, wouldn't we? Yeah. We'd be big in Japan. Yeah, big in Japan. Japanese people generally have more. Um, I, I don't know. That's very, very difficult, I think, to, to say. Compare an overall sound of the band. Mm. And even, even sort of ethos of the band yeah, it's, very, it's very difficult because there's I think with most bands there's, there's this internal power you know, conflict yeah. and um, yeah I think it's, it's a good thing and it's like being pulled different influences and I'm very much influenced by um, Pearl Jam and how they approach things and how they sort of write the songs but then I'd say people like um, Reese Influenced by bands that we've never heard of. Influenced by bands that we've never heard of. We, I'm sure they spend more time on their haircuts than their rebel. Oh, that's a nice thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't endorse what you just said. Okay. You rebel. Yeah. I don't know what I want. I would love to. I'd love to be able to play my band to Pearl Jam, however. I would actually consider that blasphemy. That's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So, to answer that question. No answer. What about you? No, I can't. Musically, I think maybe maybe Cairo a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, vocally, not going to be Cairo. <laughs> You're not Scottish. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He does a great Scottish. Oh, yeah, right. Just, just oh. What was that? Make him on the phone. Is that good? Is that good? Um, it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, on my on my fifteenth birthday, I had a mobile phone. I, that's that's how old I am. Okay. I, I, okay. I had a mobile phone. It was, it was, it was, it was like brand, that big. It was, it was, it was, 
and, and I think my uncle rang me up. First phone call on my new phone. <laughs> Hello, is that Michael on the phone? Yeah. It's David Beckham. Well, it's not, is it? Because he's not Scottish. Um, is his uncle Scottish? No, my uncle's not Scottish. He was doing. No, he was a different, different uncle. He was trying to do a, a David Beckham Scottish yeah. accent. David Beckham accent. Came out. What oh, was that? Michael on the phone. It's David Beckham. I saw right through that one. What was the question? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Oh, vocally, oh. vocally, who are we oh, compared to? Um, yeah. Oh, well, what's your vocal influences? Uh, I have just got out recently. Um, I'm not as good as him. Anyone here? Um, who is though? Eh? They agree. As well, I'm not near as good as Chris Cornell. Who is? Uh, but that's my my hero. Of, if I can ever get anybody here. Okay. Um, what other bands do you like? Apart from yourself, of course. <laughs> But we um, hate ourselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I stand listening to Callous One. Um, Don't listen to Callous One. We're a bitch. Um, on, on, on a local level, um, there's a lot of great bands. Um, well, they're not called that anymore, but uh, the people that vote for one um, Caesar's Road. Caesar's Road, yeah. yeah. Caesar's Road, great. Right. Um, Kaishira, I really like Kaishira. Kaishira. Yes. Um, straight Lines, really good. Um, did I mention the people of Boyd? <laughs> Mike is a very yeah. big fan of the people of Boyd. People of Boyd. Yeah, yeah. Like, genuinely, I keep licking their butt. Genuinely, my favourite bands are like Hill Jam, Soundgarden, maybe you too. Um, the people of Boyd are like, up there with my favourite all time bands. Me and Mary, my face. Me and Mary, yeah. Um, yeah, what's the I like to love them. Uh, I'm a big fan of paper airplanes. Really yeah, like them. Um, although they're not really local, but they're more. Oh, Starseed as well. Starseed, London based rock band. Um, yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Um, Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. And yes. Soundgarden. That was it. Smash and Pumpkins. Smash and Pumpkins. Yeah. I like oh. Smash and Pumpkins. Incubus. Biffy Clyro. Um, Francesca. It's quite them. In joke, in joke. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this I guess probably we probably bombarded enough back in time. Okay. If you could go back in time to play with any band or singer, who would it be and why? Uh, 1992. Uh, Lollapalooza. Uh, that'd be amazing. Um, right between the building and the building. Yes. Yeah. 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 When you yeah. say play with, do you mean share the stage with other whole band? Yeah. Or, so like, we'd be like supporting Pearl Jam? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Oh, that would be immense, yeah. I yeah. Would, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lollapalooza, 1992. 1992, yeah. touring with Pearl Jam and Soundgarden. Yeah, would be amazing. Oof. I can get Chris Cannon. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. I was going to do the... Yeah. Where in the world would you like to play? Really? Yeah, in the world. Whole world. Uh, Red Rocks. That Red Rocks. Yeah, that would be me. Um, you know, I would love, right? I'd love it if we got, if we got somewhere right, to be able to play a gig in a no, Well, yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, but at like, the brewery field, in the end, because Brian Adams could play this massive game. Yeah, I saw that. Like, you said, the whole town did. I know. Which the town did. Really? Half the songs he played. Everyone like, knows all of them. It's just exciting. It's like, amazing. Why is that just there? Um, but I think it'd be, it'd be brilliant uh, if you got to that oh, level yeah. to come back to your home town and play a massive show. I'd love it. I'd love it. I'd love it. Forget it. And Red Rocks. And Red Rocks. Red Rocks in there as well. Yeah. And Swear so Guard. O2 Arena. Oh, A. B. Yeah. I just figured out. Yeah. No, I, I quite like it. Absolutely just touring the world. Yeah. Playing, I mean, playing any any venue in my like, like India and uh, you know, it's a bit hot there. <laughs> I don't feel the heat. Somewhere cool. Yeah, man, but I'll, I'll have my own like, I'm going to design a personal like, refrigeration unit. Like, oh, Alright. <laughs> we wheel out a fridge for you. Yeah. Grace. So yeah, I'd love to play like India and China and um, Japan and countries that are different.